what is up guys Victor here and here uh, I just want to show you uh, kind of like my struggles with scrap mechanic and how I try to make something here uh, mods is a great thing uh, this guy named Durf made a mod pack where it's just a bunch of different stuff I'll show you right here like different blocks here and different springs, different seats, different engines. It's great. What I want to focus on here is these gears. These gears really help make things really compact and really efficient. Um, which is what I want to lead to in this video. Uh, with like what we're gonna do, and what we're gonna do is make a differential gear. Um, to explain what a differential gear is, let me um, just pull up my build here. Alright, so what a differential gear is, is basically imagine this is one end of the tire, and this is the other end of the tire, right? In real life, um, and in this game, when you go turn into a corner, you, uh, like let's say we're turning left and imagine you know, there's a tire here and there's a tire here this is the back tires we're turning left this tire is going to go slower than this tire this tire is actually going to go faster than it normally would and um, because of this um, when we have a gear running in circular pattern if we don't have a differential um, the gears will lock up and unlock the tires and it will wear the tires out a lot faster. Now in this case we don't have to, a scrap mechanic, we don't have to worry about tire wear. But what we do have to kind of worry about is those turns. And this will definitely help on those turns. Um, to demonstrate it, or to explain uh, what it is and how it works is basically this is where the, the uh, gear will turn which will turn this big gear. This big gear this is not actually connected to these poles. It's in its own thing. It's not actually, you know, moving anything besides whatever it's touching. And what it is touching is this rod right here. It doesn't look like it because, you know, this is a mod and you know, there's some glitches here and there. But this is actually connected to this one gear. And it goes all the way here, and this is connected to a bearing, which connects it to a very small gear. Uh, this is actually the where it will power the thing. It will go in a circular pattern, um, and as it does, it will push these two gears at the same rate until one of these gears resists. When one of these gears resists, this will rotate and push the other guy without affecting anything. And to demonstrate. As you can see, the only thing moving that's actually powered and active is this. Everything else is being pushed around it. Um, and the reason why you can see that the suspensions are kind of going through it, it's a glitch that I'm taking advantage of. Um, and I kind of hope they don't patch this, but yeah, if they don't, there is a mod where you can get a suspension that doesn't actually collide but yeah so as you can see it's actually staying still and pushing both of them evenly which is good now let's uh put an object to block one of these right here and see what happens so now one's resisting this thing is spinning to push the other one it's this one is not affected at all actually it just keeps going. I can even make it go faster and you'll see it. It's very, very good to do. And I think you guys will have fun doing, like, making this. Now, uh, a do disclaimer. What happens with this is that if you go too fast, now this is a modded engine, so it'll go f real fast. It'll start skipping gears. Now this one's, I think this is like the max it can go. And then once I hit it more, I stand corrected. This is the max where it can go. Uh, 
but I'm pretty sure once you go, go here. There you go. It'll start going crazy. It'll start just doing super stuff, and it won't even, uh, it won't even spin it right. It'll spin it fast, but then it'll just be so many stops. So you, you don't want to do that. That'll be bad. Yeah. And then once the moment you let this go, boom. It's great. Now you can probably use an old, you can use a normal engine on this. So I just like using the modern engine because when you um, go below the dirt tick, it goes super slow. You can actually like see if anything's going on that's wrong. All right, so now that I'm um, making for just you know, let's turn this off for the noise. Let's get let's start making this. So where we're gonna go is like inwards to outwards kind of type of deal just to make things simple so let's put this here it's um i would use metal box because they weigh the thing down and that's pretty good um because you need weight to for those tires to get you know traction on all right so this is one side and this is the other we're just going to do the complicated side first get the hard parts out of the way so what we're going to do is you got this right and you, we're gonna build a gear here now what I'm using is um, gears that this mod provides now let me just put these away what you want to use is these angled ones not the flat ones because the flat ones they're made for um, like when the gears are not 90 degrees from each other well, these ones are made for 90 degrees from each other. Although I even use these for pretty much all purposes because they're a lot better and they have smoother contact than uh, the flat ones. Um, so what you want to use is first the 1.1-3.1. This is the base and then 1 and 1 1.2. These two combinations are just used for uh, this type of gear which is like the smallest gear so you just you know this is the base the 1-3.1 one, one it goes then up and down left and right and then the one half you look at the corner here and then you just rotate it it's uh, pretty simple you just gotta build it yourself you know alright I'm gonna um, start bidding like a like a thing to hold it down so that once I once I get down to it um let go of this rift it'll stay up but this one didn't okay alright uh, boom Uh, it's probably excessive, but oh well. It, it's all going to be deleted later on anyway, so it's just for just just to get this down. Oh, accident. All right. So there you go. You got this gear. All right. And now we're going to build off of this gear. Now I'm going to show you the suspension glitch and how to do it. You first. You don't want to put a bearing on this side because this thing will be spinning the axle. So I'm going to get the plus the angle. And it's going to be spinning, you know, since I got it off the lift. You don't have to get it off the lift. Actually, no, you do have to get it off the lift if you want to put the gears um, because they kind of interlock each other. But after you get the gears in, you don't have to put anything uh, off the lift. Um, alright, so what you want to do is get a suspension. Now, I, I believe every suspension works as long as it's a, uh, it can, you know, go right through it. It's weird, I know, but yeah. Alright, so now you got these two suspensions. Now, before you continue, get your welder and check these. These things oft more often than not are like separated, not welded together, so you just want to check those. Um, actually, in order to use the welder, you have to put this on the lift and then check it. 
just to like double check. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it first. But all right, so this is the right side. So what you want to do is put a bearing. Um, you can put any block here. I think I'm going to put this for aesthetics reasons. You, you're going to put another bearing. Then this one, um, you're going to make it in. This one's the gear part, the big gear. And this gear, uh, you're going to put another bearing, by the way. This gear cannot move this pole. Otherwise, this contraption can would not work. So make sure there's a bearing here. There's a bearing. This, this bearing so that this whole thing can spin without having, because uh, this is going to be grounded. Uh, you'll see right why later. Alright, and then once you get the bearing in, let's put this here. Then let's put the angle inside. And then triangle, or plus summit. Now this is the time you want to double check. You see what I mean? Oh, hey, no. I forgot to add something here. You gotta add another bearing here, cause this thing has to spin freely too. So I'm sorry. There you go. And then double check. Boom. Weld these two together. There you go. You have your suspension glitch. Now I think I'ma let this go and then start putting these guys on. So this is another gear. You're gonna put this here. Um. I think, think it's about time to add that engine so that we can start rotating. It's, uh, I'm going to put my modded engine. Um, where's my thing? There it is. There you go. There you go. It's just to rotate it so that you can put the other parts in. Boom. go all right so you can see like it's just going right through as if it wasn't even there so that's good all right so now this is the smallest gear in the mod pack we're going to the second or the medium gear pretty much small there's a small medium and then there's a large gear which makes sense pretty cool um the base stays but this one you're gonna push it to the side over here you're gonna need two more types of gears. You're gonna go 1.31, then you're gonna go 2.2 .2 angled, then 2.3 angled. Now this is three. Like think of this as level one and then level two, but so that's that's the reason why there's a two in the beginning. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. Put this here. Boom! It's gonna move over. So don't. Try to adjust yourself. Ah, oh, crap. There you go. Boom. Boom. Alright. 2.2, you look at the edge and just add. Boom. You want to do this to all sides first. It's like step by step. then 2.3 you just what I like to do is look at uh, the the pole there and just put it in there but because there's a suspension there it's not letting me put it look at the pole add alright I'm gonna move this a bit okay that worked look at the pole boom Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Look at the pole, rotate. God damn it. Boom. Uh, one more, one more. Come on, let me work. Damn it, gotta move the engine. Boom. There you go. So now you have the big gear. <coughs> so. Now that you got the big gear uh, in here, uh, you're gonna make another gear. So let's uh. Oh no no no! I get it backwards. I'm sorry. 
this is the middle part. This is the end right here. So usually you put your tire here. I'm working on trying to get a suspension working with this thing. But for now, um, just kind of have to. I'm just trying to show you guys as soon as I discovered it. Boom. Now just making sure get everything. Oh, get in this. Get everything in a lift. You always want to get that first and then check the welding. So like, you see, this is not well to do. Uh, that's normal, so that should be separated like that. Or should it? Yeah, it should. So yeah, everything's normal. So I'm going to put this back like the way it was. Alright, so now you're going to make another gear here. Uh, let's see. Another gear there. Boom. Small gear. Level 1. Boom, boom, boom. I try to get it as fast as possible. Alright, get that one and a half. Don't get that 2.2. .2. You're, you're gonna mess yourself up. You'll get confused and you'll be like, why isn't this working? And your gears will look all jaggedy once you, like, get into it. There you go. Okay, so now, this one is just uh, its own. Let me get these guys out. Its own spin. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, uh, um, let's let's make the thing that will actually make it spin. Now, for this part, you're gonna have to put this on the left again. It's a lot of on and offs. Now, look at one of these gears, and then just put the pole in there, and then boom boom and it's gonna look a little tight but you're gonna put the angle grip in there you're gonna put the bearing then you're gonna put this in here uh I'm sorry waste of time I know There you go. Uh, now you want to just, uh, I should check the bearing again just in case. Alright. Just add these. It's, um, oh no. Okay. Now this is going to flop around once you let the lift go but that's if it does that that means you're doing it right all right just make sure you get the one and a half I mean one one point two let's get this here now once you get it actually in there this thing is gonna like freak out it's gonna like flip itself and stuff and that's perfectly normal don't know why it does it though but it's fine don't worry about it too much you just gotta put it on the left and you'll be fine. Alright. Alright, so let's put this here. Alright. Or actually, it's pretty easy to do it this way. Just for. Just to make things simple. Alright, so you're gonna put. Make another small gear. There you go. Just gotta keep uh, flipping it until you get it right. Boom. Now for this, you're probably gonna have to um, let's put some more reinforcements here. You're probably gonna have to let it off of the lift first. Let me see here, help quick. Okay, yeah, let it off the lift and then just quickly as you can, uh, try to get this gear in. I shouldn't get as much gears as I can while it's still. Boom. Boom. There you go. The only thing that's missing is that one gear and I'm gonna get it prepped. Boom. Alright.
Get it right. Boom. Alright. So let's, let's put this back so it doesn't flip over. Alright, so after you get that done, uh, you're gonna have to... It's pretty much copy the same thing, same thing without the gear, so it's even easier. So just do the suspension glitch, so get the angle here. Uh, I would check the welding. There they go. Bearing. Uh, I would up to you what to put. Usually I uh, I'll put this. Then um yeah, I'll put a block. That's just me though. Boom. Then put the, your suspensions on the side. There you go. And this one for sure you have to check. Make sure you get it welded together. And there you go. Actually, let's... For for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna put a bearing there so that you can uh, s see that it actually works. This is just a uh, reinforcement. So just check, see, you know, this is thing connected. So, there you go. Check everything, make sure everything is connected and not loose. And then finally, you can take this middle piece out. Do that last, don't do it any time later. You have to do it after you connected this part here. Then, um, you're pretty much done. When you connect this, when you connect it to the tire, though, that's why you're gonna have to use that little block there, and you make sure you have it on the lift first before you put the block, and then connect it to something that's attached to the car, um, so that you don't have like a separate piece just dangling around. All right, so yeah, that's how you make a differential. Um, let's just, uh, put a piece for the motor. Uh, I would recommend using the electric motor because the gas motor, as I would demonstrate right now, uh, would screw things up. Actually, let's not put it in this corner. Uh, you want to power this, by the way, indirectly. You'll see what I mean. Um, let me get this right here. Okay, so, first off, this thing's going to spin in a circular pattern, so if you put the gear here, you're going to mess things up. It's not going to work. So what you want to do is get it get it to the middle, the center, aligned. Alright, you're going to put it right in here, and then make the gear there. Now, you can probably let the lift go, and it won't, at least it won't lift itself up, which is weird. I know. I'm trying to figure that out. Trying to figure out what the the physics of scrap mechanic is trying to do. So you're just gonna have to make a gear. Get the base in. It should stop shaking once you get an engine attached to this gear. stop shaking anyways but hey you know all right there you go let me add one more in line here so let me demonstrate what happens when you put a gas engine in here right so once you connect it to this oh god I'm telling you right
Wrong engine. <laughs> okay. That was, uh, weird. That's probably something wrong with the modded engine. Let me see if this will work. Alright, there you go. So, as you can see, it takes a lot of power just, just to, like, try to get this turning. And it, it'll feel like, it'll feel like maybe you did something wrong, right? But it's not that. And it also lifts your contraption up like that. And it's weird. Actually, why is it still doing it? So, let me check my gears real quick. And it's probably that. Here, uh, just to reinforce it a little, I'm going to connect these. Uh, make sure it's welded. Bada beam, bada boom. All right. There you go. All the bearings are there. Everything's correct. All right. So yeah, but when you put an electric motor, it kind of, it gives you a consistent uh, turns. So once I get this out, uh, yeah. And then this is this one's a modded one, so I could go between the marks. But as you can see, it'll turn. It'll turn. Let me go a little faster here. Hmm. Oh, that's why I was freaking out. Okay, I made a mistake. This for demonstration purposes, I was supposed to um. Uh, put a bearing there, but I forgot to do that for you guys. <laughs> my pro, might be, might be. Watch the magic happen. Where's the mag? Oh yeah. Of course, what happens is that if you forget to check your welds. Things like this happen, and things just—you know—things like this always happens to me. Okay. Ah, oh, I guess we missed one here too. There you go. It's not freaking out anymore. All right. There you go. Alright, uh, test this. So yeah, as you can see, it's evenly pushing it. Suspension so glitch is working. And like I said, it goes up to a certain limit before it starts doing it. And to prove it to you guys that it actually works, just put something here. And you'll see it spin around. Of course, it'll jerk a bit. Um, it's the way these gears are made. It's important that you have even spacing between them to have these working. But hey, it still works. It's super compact. And yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comments and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. And yeah, see you guys.